Good evening. Hi, Dex, Parker, Natalia. Good evening. Here I am! <laughs> Hello! Hi, small children. I have to look at this. Keep looking at myself. I decided I wanted to read you a book today. I know it's past your bedtime, but I figured you could take this video and play it whenever you want, or never. <sighs> World's best limericks book. Oh, this is one that Nana loves. A rare old bird is the pelican. His beak holds more than his belly can. That one's not appropriate. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Nana does love those pelican limericks. Anyway, today we will be reading Gossy. Have you guys read this? Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, that would be terrible. Hmm. Oh, I'm so committed to this idea. I just went in the attic. Alright, let's see. Check this out. It's books. <laughs> oh, I love this book. <gasps> go dog, go! I love this book. Ooh, Babar. Or as the French say, Babar. Babar. This one doesn't have any words. Harry the Dirty Dog. <gasps> oh, this one looks good. Alright, ready? Is everybody comfortable? Everybody has their spot set up? Okay. So. You ready? Ah! Somebody wrote their name in it. Whose name is that? It's Aunt Jackie's name. Harry the Dirty Dog. That looks like Hagen. Harry the Dirty Dog. Harry the Dirty Dog. Look at him. He's running away from the bathtub. He's so sneaky. He, he doesn't want to take a bath. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except getting a bath. So one day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took the scrubbing brush. There he is. He's taking it. He buried it in the backyard. Ooh, he's so sneaky. Then he ran away from home. Look at him. He's going on an adventure. Did I miss a page? And Jackie. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. They're fixing the street near Nana's house. It's very dirty there. He played at the railroad and got even dirtier. Well, where is he? I can't even see him in this picture. Can you see him? Where is that dog? Oh, I see him. There he is. He's getting very dirty. He played tag with other dogs and became dirtier still. Where did he go? You see him? I think that's him. He's getting very dirty. That looks like we're gonna place in the dog park. He slid down a coal chute and got the dirtiest of all. In fact, he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. That's just crazy. Where is he? Do you see him in this picture? That is... that's not him. That's a white dog with yellow spots. Oh, that's a cat. There he is. He's right there, gliding down a coal chute, as one does. Although there were many other things to do, Harry began to wonder if his family thought that he had really run away. That would be terrible. I'm sure they would be very worried. He felt tired and hungry, too. So without stopping on the way, he ran back home. Look, he's so dirty, he's leaving paw prints wherever he goes. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and sat looking at the back door. Oh, he looks so sad. One of the family looked out and said, There's a strange dog in the backyard. By the way, has anyone seen Harry? I don't think they recognize him. This story better have a happy ending. When Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them that he was Harry. He started to do all of his old, clever tricks. He flip-flopped. There's him flip-flopping. And he flopped, flipped. He rolled over and he played dead. 
he danced and he sang. He did these tricks over and over again, but everyone shook his head and said, Oh no, it could not be Harry. That dog's too dirty to be Harry. Harry gave up and walked slowly towards the gate, and suddenly he stopped. He ran to a corner of the garden and started to dig furiously. Soon he jumped away from the hole, barking short, happy barks. He'd found the scrubbing brush, and carrying it in his mouth, he ran into the house. There he is, running into the house. That little boy looks surprised. Up the stairs he dashed, with the family close behind. They're following him. He jumped into the bathtub and sat up begging with the scrub brush in his mouth, a trick he certainly had never done before. This little doggy wants a bath, cried the little girl, and her father said, Why don't you and your brother give him one? He has a nice deep voice, the father. Harry's bath was the soapiest one he'd ever had. It worked like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, look! Come, quick! It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they cried. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him lovingly, and he became once again a white dog with black spots. Oh, look at him, he's so happy. It was wonderful to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite place, happily dreaming of how much fun it had been getting dirty. He slept so soundly, he didn't even feel the scrubbing brush he'd hidden underneath his pillow. Ha <laughs> ha, he's so sneaky. He hid it right underneath his pillow. You see that scrubbing brush? The end. That was Harry the Dirty Dog. Good night.